This isn't really the type of video we normally make, but this grocery store just shocked us. In most European grocery stores, at least the ones we've been in, you don't have like a crazy big selection on things. You know, you may have 10 flavors of chips, you know, a couple brands of mayo, you know, just, but in America, we have tons of options. You have like 20 options of everything. Okay, well, this grocery store, look at this chip aisle. All the way down there. This is the first time I've seen like a mixed, like variety pack of chips since the US. Oh, eight euros. Sour cream and black pepper, prawn or shrimp. Salt and vinegar is in a green bag instead of a blue bag. Feta, feta flavored Lay's. Oregano, these are really good, really good. This country was a British colony until 1960. So that kind of explains why they have some things. This is the section we always come for. So we love cooking with like Asian flavors. And this supermarket has everything. I mean, look at this. Dark soy sauce, fish sauce. Look, they even have Nando's. I know it's not Asian, but like, come on. Sweet chili sauce. All these hot sauces. Okay, and now we get to the really good stuff. Look at this, Peking duck sauce, garlic ginger paste. And this is a grocery store in Cyprus. Cyprus is an island nation, and it's not very big either. So to have all of this stuff, it just blew us away. Look at all these frozen pizzas. One freezer, two freezer, three freezer, four, five, Six. Six freezers of frozen pizza. Just frozen pizza. This is how you know it was a British colony. You got the HP sauce with the handle. Two liter. I don't know if this is a good price or not, so you guys let me know, but you got the word sure, 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 sure. You need your five liters of mayo, but this is the one. This is the real deal. This is what really gave it away. This is when we knew we were in business. Look, he's even got the Z on it. Seven euro, 2.62 kilos of beans. It's a lot of beans on toast, guys. It's a lot of beans on toast. More pizza. Did you see the saucy sauce? No. The saucy sauce that's saucy. I've never even seen this before. Garlic and caramelized onion mayonnaise. That sounds pretty good. Marmite, come on. Wow. Lemon curd, like your pickled grape leaves, pickled green tomatoes. This is seven euros for a bag of frozen mussels. That seems pretty good. It's a little less than a kilo. Bags of frozen shrimp. You can just get like a nice big piece. It's like a salmon collar. Smell my fingers. Smells like what? Is it hefty? Yeah, it's a hefty boyo. I've never had a prickly pear, but maybe now is the time to try it. Star fruit, dragon fruit, 589 a kilo, avocados. Okay, Europe, you guys do so many things better than us in America, but the avocados here, not it. What is this? If you know what a chirimoya is, let us know. I've never seen this before. It smells kind of like old cheese. They even have streaky eggplant or like Chinese eggplant. That's what you call it. So good. You never see that in grocery stores. You have to go to like specialty stores for that. Look at all these different types of peppers. It's like a snake. I can't even fit it all in the frame. Do you guys know what this is? Okay. I don't know what it is, honestly. Yeah, it looks pretty average. I don't know what it is though. Let me know if you know. This whole row is just apples. Apples, apples, apples. But they even have tiny like pearl onions. Just fondling all the small onions. I think a better selection than Whole Foods. Just gonna throw that out there. I don't know what this is. If you know what this is, let me know. Our favorite grocery store before this was called Number One, and it was in Chisinau in Moldova. 
They had amazing, amazing prepared foods and Moldova has killer produce. But now this place is just huge. They have everything. Where should we go next? Arizona iced teas. We've got the fruit punch one. Aloe drinks. Look good, good. You can even get the little cans. That's a good price. Usually when you see them, I mean, in America, they're like 99 cents for the big one, but everywhere else, it's always a couple euros for an Arizona. Like I said before, Cyprus, it's an island. So all this stuff is imported. It's just crazy that they're importing all of this. If you know why there's so much variety, please let us know because we're so curious. To me, it just like doesn't make sense, but I'm obviously, I'm missing something. This is all pork. <laughs> Bacon ribs, pork mints. Look, there's chop it up, bagging it. We've got dry aged meat. I took the best grocery store I've ever been to. Georgian lemonades, tarragon, pear flavor. This side says Russian. This side says South African. Look, mango chutney, korma curry paste. Look at this, you have Joe Rogan curry paste. <laughs> Let's go to one of my favorite aisles, Chinese noodle. It's like an egg noodle. You have rice vermicelli noodles. And now the good stuff, the instant noodles. Curry flavor. Duck? Might have to try that one. But look at all these brands of just noodles you can get. Noodle, but by Nora, I don't think I would trust that. Mexican fajita sauce. Old El Paso. What kind of disgusting devilry is this? Dorito salsa? I don't trust it. But you even have tortillas. Let's check out the candy. Chupa Chups. Werther's Caramels, Fried Egg Gummies, some Sharks. I actually never had this brand. I don't know if it's good or not. Sweet and Spicy Skittles. Sweet and Spicy Skittles, how do you feel about it? Mmm, I'd give it a try. I don't know what the spicy would be, but what about Sweetos? Every day we stray further from God's light. Best in rooms ever. Haley loves pandas. But the strawberry ones are superior. Did you see this? Oh my god, this is amazing. It's a tasty gummy Big Mac. And not like a little one, this is... It's a nice one. This is so cute. And a pizza. I wish we would have stayed here longer. I like this grocery store a lot. It's dangerous. Okay, actually last thing, let's check out some beer. Kio, I think this is like the national beer of Cyprus. This is a 500 milliliter of beer for 1.55. I tried it. I didn't think it was very good. If there's a better Cypriot beer, please let me know because that one was not it. Maybe this one? I think this says Cyprus. This one's good, it's Greek. A lot of selection though. They have Lagunitas. Two and a half euros each. Like that's, that's pretty good. Yule Tried and True, Star Promen, Pilsner Urquell. A bottle of Jack Daniels. This is a weird measurement because in the US we don't have a one liter bottle. We have this one and then one that's double this. But it's basically the same price. 26, 29 a liter. I think that's the cheapest I've seen Jack Daniels anywhere in Europe. Honestly. But look, all these wines. Get your Ciroc on. Only 55 euros for a bottle of Ciroc. Sus. Look at all of this stuff. This is like the most brands I've seen anywhere. I know. Yeah, they had Kettle One over there and they have a lot of stuff from home. That's why I'm saying it's like so surprising and you wouldn't think this would be here in Cyprus. Especially because they get everything imported to them. This box of wine is two euros. These ones are even cheaper. 180. Cypress wine, might have to try it. We got some water. It's actually all we really came for. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We love going to grocery stores and traveling. It's such a cool way to see what people eat and it's such a big part of their culture. Crazy grocery store. Papa Antonio. I'm gonna miss you, Papa Antonio.